SOX, officially known as the Public Company Accounting Reform and Investor Protection Act of 2002, is a United States federal law enacted in response to several major accounting scandals in the early 2000s involving companies like Enron and WorldCom. Key Objectives of SOX Restore investor confidence in the financial markets by enhancing corporate governance and financial reporting standards. SOX aims to prevent fraudulent accounting practices and ensure the accuracy and reliability of publicly traded companies' financial statements. Improve corporate accountability. SOX strengthens the independence of auditors and increases the responsibility of corporate executives for the accuracy and completeness of financial disclosures. Deter and punish corporate misconduct. SOX introduces stricter penalties for financial fraud and imposes criminal liability for source and CFOs who knowingly certify false financial statements. Main Provisions of SOX Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, PCAOB, creates an independent oversight board to enforce auditing standards and inspect public accounting firms. CEO and CFO Certification Source and CFOs must personally certify the accuracy and completeness of their company's financial statements. Internal controls. Companies must establish and maintain a strong system of internal controls over financial reporting. Enhanced financial reporting. SOX mandates specific disclosure requirements for financial statements, including off-balance sheet transactions and pro-forma financials. Whistleblower protection. SOX protects employees who report financial fraud from retaliation by their employers. Increased criminal penalties. SOX significantly increases the criminal penalties for corporate fraud and accounting misconduct. Impact of SOX. SOX has had a significant impact on the way publicly traded companies operate in the United States. It has led to more rigorous financial reporting. Companies are now subject to stricter internal control requirements and auditor oversight resulting in more accurate and reliable financial statements. Increased corporate accountability. Source and CFOs are now held personally accountable for the accuracy of their company's financial disclosures, leading to a more responsible approach to corporate governance. Stronger investor confidence. The improvements in financial reporting and corporate accountability have helped restore investor confidence in the U.S. stock market. However, SOX also has some criticisms, such as Increased compliance costs. Implementing and maintaining strong internal controls and complying with SOX requirements can be expensive for companies, especially smaller ones. Reduced risk-taking. The fear of penalties and lawsuits can discourage companies from taking on bold business ventures. Complexity of the Act. SOX is a complex piece of legislation with numerous provisions, which can be difficult for companies to understand and comply with. Overall, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act is a significant piece of legislation that has helped to improve financial reporting and corporate accountability in the United States. While it has its challenges, SOX has played a vital role in restoring investor confidence and promoting more responsible corporate governance practices. I hope this provides a clear overview of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. Feel free to ask if The Sarbanes-Oxley Act, SOX, is divided into 11 titles, each focusing on different aspects of financial reporting and corporate governance. Here's a brief overview of some key sections. Title I, establishes the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, PCAOB, to oversee and regulate the audit profession. Title II, enhances corporate responsibility through CEO and CFO certification of financial statements, enhanced disclosure requirements, and whistleblower protection. Title III focuses on corporate responsibility for financial statements with sections on internal controls over financial reporting, ICFR, real-time issuer disclosures, and auditor independence. Section 302 mandates CEO and CFO certification of financial statements. Section 404 requires companies to assess and report on the effectiveness of their ICFR. Section 409, mandates real-time disclosure of material changes in a company's financial condition. Title IV, addresses fraudulent accounting activity with increased criminal penalties, obstruction of justice provisions, and enhanced sentencing guidelines. Title V, aims to improve corporate governance practices by addressing stock options backdating, analyst conflicts of interest, and corporate responsibility for off-balance sheet financing. Title V, 
establishes the SEC Accounting and Funding Oversight Council to oversee the PCAOB and the accounting research firms. Title 7 addresses auditor liability and whistleblower protection. Title 8 deals with corporate fraud accountability and sets guidelines for attorney conduct standards. Title IX addresses criminal penalties for corporate fraud. Title X creates the Corporate Fraud Task Force to coordinate federal law enforcement efforts against corporate fraud. Title 11 focuses on enhanced auditor independence, auditor rotation requirements, and partner rotation requirements. The Act, officially known as the Public Company Accounting Reform and Investor Protection Act of 2002, was actually the result of a bipartisan effort in the U.S. Congress. Here's a breakdown of its origin. Key figures, Senator Paul Sarbanes, D. Maryland, he sponsored the Senate version of the bill, named the Public Company Accounting Reform and Investor Protection Act of 2002. Representative Michael G. Oxley, R. Ohio, he sponsored the House version of the bill, named the Corporate and Auditing Accountability, Responsibility, and Transparency Act of 2002. Congressional Collaboration Both chambers of Congress, the Senate and the House, worked together to reconcile the two versions of the bill and ultimately passed a unified SOX Act. Background The legislation was a direct response to several major accounting scandals in the early 2000s, including Enron and WorldCom, which shook investor confidence and exposed weaknesses in financial reporting and corporate governance. Therefore, attributing the creation of SOX to a single individual wouldn't do justice to the collective effort involved. While Senators Sarbanes and Rep. Oxley are recognized for their leadership roles in championing the legislation, its success was built on bipartisan collaboration and a collective response to restore trust in the financial markets. I hope this clarifies the process and context behind the creation of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act.